Okay, so here's our last example using limit comparison. It's the last example for this section on limit and comparison tests. We want to determine the convergence of this series here, right? And now, um, the point that we've tried to drive home with the, the examples we've done so far is that limit comparison, right, it's sort of a blunt instrument. It's not particularly sensitive to the small details, right? We, we only really care about sort of largest powers. And so here, if we're thinking about long run behavior, we say what's going to dominate when n is big? Adding 3 is not going to matter. Neither is adding 1. Neither is subtracting n when you're comparing to n squared, right? It's just this root n over n squared, this stuff here. This is the part that matters for large n. Okay? And so we say, let's compare. So we want to compare a n, which is root n plus 3 over n squared minus n plus 1, to b n, which will be root n over n squared, which is, so that's n to the 1 half n squared, right? So 2 minus a half is 1 over n to the 3 over 2. Okay? Okay, so let's look. The limit as n goes to infinity, a n over b n, is going to be the limit. n goes to infinity, so let's put a n in there. Root n plus 3, n squared minus n plus 1. And we're dividing by b n, which means multiplying by n to the 3 over 2. Okay. So if we multiply that through, we get the limit n going to infinity of n squared plus 3n to the 3 over 2 divided by n squared minus n plus 1. And that limit is 1, using the, the typical argument that we just have to look at the largest powers, ratio of the coefficients when those largest powers are equal, right? Okay, so that limit is 1, we're in the first case, and now we say, oh, what do we know about the BNs? Um, this series, n going from 1 to infinity, um, 1 over, oops, sorry, n to the 3 over 2, uh, does it converge or diverge? It converges, right? It's a P-series. P is equal to 3 over 2, which is bigger than 1. We know that our original series, root n plus 3, n squared minus n plus 1, it must also converge using the limit comparison test. Okay, that's it. But again, the point is that you do not want to be handling something like that by direct comparison, right? Limit comparison gives you a straightforward way of setting up a comparison, letting you compare a complicated series with a simple one where we have a known result. And all it's going to cost you is a limit at infinity using techniques that you learned in Calc 1.